headed over, my team headed over and flew in. And the next day, the bombs started falling. Sergeant Sky Barkley and his team got into Ukraine just before the Russians invaded. They endured the bombing in Kyiv before traveling west, witnessing long lines for gas and long lines of people trying to cross out of the country. The country has been totally militarized overnight. It's, it's the wildest thing you've ever seen. I mean, here you have Ukraine, beautiful place, wonderful people and great food. And overnight after this invasion, you have men being called to arms who have never held a rifle before. Sergeant Barkley is a former Marine medic from Maryland, now traveling with a team from Here's Hope Ministries. They're here as medics, but haven't been able to plug in with the medical infrastructure yet. So in the meantime, they're doing what they can to help. We're um, going to be able to move medical supplies in from Warsaw across the border into Ukraine and get those to where they're needed most. Um, and we're also uh, coordinating with other groups in order to move um, uh, orphans or out of orphanages uh, to uh, safer areas across the border into Poland and uh, potentially into Hungary. Sergeant Barkley is no stranger to areas in the midst of turmoil. He's worked in places like Iraq, Syria and Burma. But this doesn't compare to anything he's seen. This is conventional warfare. Um, you know, uh, slow simmering insurgencies and car bombs, uh, in my opinion, do not compare to, to what you're looking at. The sheer raw firepower and the magnitude of this invasion does not compare to what we've seen in Iraq and Syria. He says they're mapping out their routes and trying to be as careful as possible moving around. But he says his faith brought him here and he'll stay as long as he needs to. This is about uh, coming and lifting people up. And, and, and loving your neighbor as you love yourself. And I just ask for people to support and stand for and pray for Ukraine. In Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL, TV 11 News.